when he's in for that first hospitalization, his letters show a degree of hope. The people that he's writing to, I'm, I'm being treated, I'm trying to get better, I'm feeling a little better, I'm going home. But one of the things that biographers missed, um, when he comes out, the date of his first suicide attempt is the date that President Kennedy announced the Bay of Pigs invasion to the American people. Mm. And he's in Ketchum. So on that day, here he is struggling with physical illness, struggling with depression. He gets the news that he can never return to Cuba, to his home. It's been his home for 20 years. So he's lost his community, his boat, his lifestyle, um, his house, his library, his pets, uh, the people who work for him, all of his friends is gone. Can't go back. And at that point, he never stops trying to kill himself. Um, he, he makes his attempt when he hears that news. Uh, he tries again on April 23rd before they even start getting him to the Mayo. On the way to the Mayo, they fly him up to Minnesota from Idaho. Uh, they have a stop to refuel the plane. He tries to walk into the propellers, which is gruesome. Um, and then he does, he's hospitalized for a time. He convinces them to let him out and He's home for one night in Ketchum. We have dinner out at Christiana's. He gets up in the morning and commits suicide. So, you know, to me, that, that loss landing on the mental and physical illness was just, that, that was it. Um, Mary and, and I think also, you know, being out of familiar surroundings, you know, you're with your community, with everything, also intensifies disorientation um, in, in older people or people who have any... Um, traumatic brain injury, and so th the intensification of his these psychotic thoughts, but also his confusion. He he was just very increasingly confused for medical reasons, for psychiatric reasons, um, and uh, and that you know I'm sure was was very devastating as well.